President, I see why you are made Bola Tinibu. <laughs> you know, say when you do Nigeria, so Nigeria quiet too. When you rule the country anyhow, so Nigeria is quiet for you. But I want to tell you just now, say, hmm? you go cry when the Wala go start. You go cry when Nigeria they cry, so you quiet too. You go cry the money when you take contest for this past election, sir. Eh? You go cry, you go rock come up for this country. You go cry. When you they do Nigeria so, Nigeria quiet for you. When Nigeria go come for you, I met Bola Tinibus, I see why you the president of Nigeria. When Nigeria go come for you, you go cry you. Now be all this one when they say that they, they plan a protest. No. This time around, nobody go follow you, you plan anything. No. You go cry. You go cry, I see why you, you go cry when the wala go start. You see, you see this is your turn when you the ruler many a cool mess where you just rule any here. You your call your poor person you travel. You call your poor person say one vacancy day you poor person you travel. Cool mess where you just rule any here. You cry. Eh, she eat in the You tell your papa say where the wala go start eh. On a to go cry. The cry said eh eh. You see where the sweat say you go sweat past me. Cause you know see where wrong go. See how this one that they spread the country. People they suffer so we may travel on a they travel any year. We may travel. We 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 go to Dubai or go travel on a they travel up and down. We may swear you just in rule anyhow. The people they suffer they die so I not care. I go buy food this morning now so one thousand three hundred. Eh? Now so we want to live her. Who won't mess swear you just in rule anyhow. You did that they travel go China. You go crack. When the wala go start, you go cry. You go cry when the wala go start. You wicked when when I swear when I just a rule anyhow. Just a rule anyhow. So when the wala go start, eh? President Tinibu wife, when the wala go start, eh? On a to go cry. The wala, eh? The wala go push you on now. Cause eh, no place where I go run enter. You just say now the mumu protest when they plan the other time. This time around, eh, your body go tell you now. Nah, you get let to run. You saw this your essay, uh, this is your SSS when you the kind follow body, sir. When on God all beat Nigeria, this one state when we say nobody they fear death again. All the justice one a pack when you they bribe, they do everything. One I just they rule the country, yaga yaga, so eh. On I go cry when the wala go start. Cause Nigeria go boss just now. Nigeria go boss. The keke when I enter just now, the women they talk say now they want now they want protest. Now, the women say now say see all the military, all the military. Oh now go wrong, cause Nigerians are hungry. No, no hope anywhere. No hope. Bag of rice now is one hundred twenty thousand for market here. Yeah. No hope. No hope. No hope from anywhere. You won't mess when now when you just a rule any year. Your your mind say you the rule. You just a rule anyhow. You they rule anyhow, just for you to bear the name president. You just a rule. You don't know what you they rule. You don't have an idea of how to rule Nigeria. You cannot revive the economy. You just did that the rule anyhow. You go cry when the wala go start. You go cry. You as you as you, you go cry. The cry of Nigeria so you all go pass on. As you say you wicked so you, you go cry. Wait, you not get conscious. You don't travel. You just they travel up and down. They travel up and down. You don't know. You don't know your left from your right. You don't make travel. Nothing concern you again. If the people die or not. Ah! Yeah, they tell you this thing, eh? Because during election, all my friends that they vest for me when I they talk say, I see why you not go win this election. Now see why you go win. You go feed to Nigeria where? See today now all of them they, they laugh me. Everybody they laugh me. My friend Neri slapped me yesterday. Neri slapped me yesterday. I see why you. I see why you. You go cry. You go cry. Wish. I can pay for you. I can pay all my friends that they, they, they laugh me. I say me cannot join your group again because of your year year character. You go cry. Hello, good my SF viewers. This is Satellite Media. Mr. Nee, I understand that you are in the know of how and what transpired during the last protest. Chora, who was away from the country, came in recently, was briefly detained at the airport, though he had been released. But 
they are revealed that there will be hard attack, fearless protests come October 1, 2024. Absolutely. It was seems like uh, Eshore is uh, a fearless personality. It's like even after the federal government has slammed charge of uh, treason against protesters, it's like Eshore is not back now. What are we likely to expect come October 2024? Uh, thank you for having me, Satellite Media, on your platform. Now, the fate of Nigeria moving forward is in the hands of Nigeria. Don't forget, in August, so many people were out there saying that will Showere join Nigerians to protest? People were calling, where is Showere? If Showere is not on ground, we will not join him. Blah, blah, blah. Now, some people still came out and they protested. And that protest, to some considerable extent, was a success. Because we could see that the federal government was shaked a little bit. Going forward, we are just less than a week to October 1st, which supposedly, which coincidentally, pardon me, is our Independence Day. The Nigerians have been called upon to come out and fight for their freedom from the shackles of this current administration. What will you do? Because today, what would be your excuse? Because Showere is on ground. And just yesterday, after he had his court hearing between a case and, and uh, Nedu Woko, he said, I will be on ground to protest because he is Nigerian first. And the question is, will the Nigerian people join that protest come October 1st? October 1st? At this stage, I don't think any sensible person should still be saying that Showere is an henchman of APC. At this stage, I don't think any responsible Nigerian who is not benefiting from this corrupt administration, inept administration, will still say that Joware is a, a proxy of Bola Metonu. Because if only you are benefiting, is when you use that such words to probably conjure people so that they will not believe in the cause. Everything Shawara is asking for is what a well-meaning Nigerian citizen should ask for. We are demanding for 16 agendas. And the first thing on that list is a constitutional reform. The second thing is what? INEC electoral heart reform. Look at what happened in Edo State. In Edo State now, the people who lost are crying wolf. As well, Godalo. Even a Peter of BSC they cried out on Twitter, saying no manner of things that he was even laying courses on the on the lives of the kids of those who rigged the election. That it will not be well with them. Now, that is not the point. This is not the time to agonize. This is the time to organize. Is as far as we are still in democracy, we have every right to gather, to associate, and also to demand for good governance. This upcoming protest is start at bad governance 2.0 and the theme is we will not stop until we win what we are asking for is not unreachable everything we are asking for are doable but the government of the day is not ready to serve the people and because the people are docile because the people are quiet because the people don't even understand their rights and then I think one of the most important things is I think the people are even happy with their change. Because you see how people will be justifying, well, we're not going to protest, what will happen, job? If 3 million people across the country troop into the streets, let's say, for instance, in Lagos State, in Lagos State, let's just say 100,000 persons come outside. Do you know what shockwave that will push? So we have to be serious here. Showere represents the people. Showere represents the voice of the unheard. Showere remains the last hope and the last path to freedom. Showere represents a democratic Nigeria. Showere represents a true Nigeria. Showere, most importantly, represents an unapologetic, confident Nigeria. Thank you for having me. Uh, before I let you go, let's look at the travel of those that were arrested. We understand that. The citizen bail condition that was slammed on them was about uh, 10 million per person. And uh, we are seeing another round of uh, possible protests. Do you think, in the face of what is happening, falling on those arrested, do you think Nigerians will be bold enough to file out on, out on the street? And again, that is it. Nigerians need to have their resolve to fight for their country. 
when we were under military regime, some people were arrested over and over and over and over again. Some people were not just arrested once. They were arrested, released, rearrested, released. They were arrested up to four times. Now, these young people who were arrested, they were being charged for treasonable uh, felony just because they came out of protest. Now, we are in that crossroad. We are about to define our own destiny as a people. Our failure not to come out simply means we have been captured. And then, no Nigeria has that temerity to go to church and pray for God to deliver them. Because if you do that, you will get yourself burnt. Now is the time for us to define, are we getting captured? Are we okay in this bondage? And if Nigeria do not resist, then of course, in democracy, the majority will take the day. Simply means it's the people have accepted to be captured. Thank you. Thank you very much. Until that day, let us wait and see whether Nigerians will be bold enough to file out on the street to protest. We are wanting to certain that we know that the country is unambiguous about the right of protest. It's a legendary right in the hands of the citizens to express their displeasure anywhere, anytime the government policy is not working or where the citizens feel that the government policy is not working. I must say very thank you for your time. Thank you, brother.